Okay, so thank you for having me today. And um, I'm gonna talk to you today about um, our Aetna individual and family plans for 2022. I am gonna focus only on our larger markets today um, because those are where we feel we are gonna be the most competitive and that we have the most opportunity with Benevest um, to sell. So I'll talk about our, um, our footprint, our national footprint. And then I'll talk about our medical plan offerings on pharmacy benefits and plans and really our member onboarding experience. And then quickly go over what individual agents need um, to sell with that in a day one and then any broker tools and support that we have available to your agents. So why Aetna CVS Health? So we feel like um, we have the best integrated value with Aetna CVS Health in the market today. So we're a consumer company and we know that consumers want health insurance that's simple and affordable. The plans that we've developed are also convenient and they offer personalized healthcare experience. We've come together. This is our first co-branded Aetna and CVS um, health product. So we feel like these products are coming together to meet consumer needs through integrated solutions and plan offerings, and that they truly elevate and transform the individual healthcare ex experience. So we're going to deliver care that's accessible um, and with a personalized healthcare experience. We're going to have unrivaled access to care. We are going to have 24-7, 365 virtual care, we're going to have access to thousands of walk-in clinics. And we also have a trusted network of doctors and pharmacies. We know that 85% of people in the United States live within um, a five mile radius of a CVS pharmacy. So we feel our plans really offer very accessible care, even to those in rural communities. So we're gonna make it healthier, easier. And so we're gonna proactively ensure support for our consumers with complex and specialized conditions through our clinical models, which have targeted engagement, we're gonna offer mental health counseling, specialty pharmacy support, and also maternity care. We've got some good member um, app tools for convenience, and we allow members to pay their premium at a CVS location. Our plans are gonna offer enhanced value. Um, we're gonna have zero or no cost minute clinic visits, and also member discounts on CVS health products. And all of this comes together to wrap around our members. So we've got nurses without boundaries. We've got a robust next network. We've got the 24 seven support. We've got tons of CVS health hubs, tons of CVS uh, minute clinics for members. So we feel like we've got a great member experience once um, these plans are purchased and members are on our plans. So I'm gonna go over our national footprint but again, when I get down to um, some of the more detailed information, I'm only going to focus on our, our larger um, markets. So we are going to be entering in eight states as of 1122. So in Arizona, we're going to be offering our joint venture product with Banner. We're going to be in Florida, Georgia, Missouri, North Carolina, Nevada, Texas. And in Virginia, we're going to have our innovation health joint venture product in Northern Virginia and in Richmond and Roanoke, we're gonna have our ACA plans. So we expect all of our information, our plan grids, um, network service area maps to be out on Producer World early next week. So although I'm gonna only cover the large markets today, all of the information that you're gonna to need to sell in any of these markets is gonna be on that Producer World broker toolkit that I'll go over in a little bit. So first I'm gonna go over um, the Florida network. So 2022 footprint in Florida includes two distinct service areas, South Florida, Southwest Florida. The most important thing to know about Florida is all the hospitals in all six of our, our service regions are in network. Tremendous breadth, very strong network in Florida includes Baptist Health, Cleveland Clinic, Sarasota Memorial, University of Miami, and Broward Health. So this is an HMO um, plan that requires a primary care physician, PCP selection, but no referrals are required to see in-network doctors. 
So you get the best, best of both worlds. You get that PCP who's going to coordinate your care, but then you don't need the referrals um, to, to go to in-network providers. And then you're not going to, you know, that protects you also from balance, you know, those balance bills from like an anesthesiologist or, or any of that. So that, you know, best of both worlds with the HMO plan that we have in the Florida network. In South Florida, again, all the hospitals are covered in the four counties. Members are going to have access to over 2,000 primary care physicians. They're going to have access to um, 12,000 specialists, 60 hospitals. And don't get hung up on the hospital counts because even though we include this here, every carrier kind of counts their hospitals differently. So just know that this um, 60 hospital count, it, it doesn't include like the offsite um, hospital locations, but they are included in our network. So again, don't get hung up on the 60 hospital uh, count. There's gonna be 67 urgent care centers, um, 250 CVS pharmacy locations, 17 CVS health hub locations and six minute clinic locations. So this is, this is a very important part of our plans. And I'm gonna go over this a little bit later, but I wanna also talk about it now. Members who purchase our ACA plans have that minute clinic and CVS health hub um, a minute clinic benefit and CVS Health Hub benefit nationally. So they can go to any CVS Health Hub or any CVS minute clinic across the country. And if they go to that minute clinic, it's gonna be no cost or low cost if it's our um, HSA compatible plan. So again, if they're on vacation, if they've got a child who's um, at college, they can use our minute clinic locations anywhere in the country. Otherwise, if you're using just our regular provider network, um, members must stay in the service area and they're out of the service area, it's only emergency coverage. So for Southwest Florida, again, all hospitals in the two counties are in network. We've got access to over 470 primary care physicians, 2,500 specialists, and nine hospitals, 19 urgent care centers, and 30 SCB, CVS um, pharmacies. And this includes Sarasota and Manatee, the service area. One of our other biggest markets is North Carolina for 2022. So in this market, <clears throat> you're gonna find that one of the, the biggest benefits of, of choosing our plans is that we are in 70 counties. So I think that makes um, our footprint the second largest in the state of North Carolina. So it's a huge opportunity to, to help you with any new clients in North Carolina for 2022. So a couple of notes on North Carolina, PCP and referrals are not required. And another huge benefit is members can access all the in-network providers across North Carolina. So again, anywhere you see purple the, the, and that you've got an in-network provider, members who purchase our plans can access that network all across North Carolina. Coverage outside the network is for emergencies only. So some of our, and I know this is a very busy map, but it's just really highlighting our North Carolina network. So we've got tons of um, in-network providers, including Mission Health, Wake Forest, Baptist Health, Cone Health, Atrium Health. Um, again, members can access all the in-network providers in North Carolina, as well as Atrium Health providers in York and Lancaster County, South Carolina. We don't sell plans in South Carolina, but they can access those providers in South Carolina. And just to note, Novant Health, UNC Health and Rex are not in the network. We've got 17 minute clinic locations. We've got 51 CVS Health Hub locations and 240 CVS pharmacy locations also included in this network. In the Greenville market, um, some of the key physicians are Biden Health, ECU Physicians, Physicians East, and Greenville Women's Clinic. 
And again, you're going to be able to access um, information online to look at our providers and also our service area maps. Another big market for Aetna in 2022 is Texas. Texas is a big state, big market for us. We're going to be available in Austin, El Paso, Houston, and San Antonio in Texas. Um, this is an HMO plan where primary care physicians, PCP selection, and referrals are required to see in-network physicians. Um, you have to see in-network physicians. There's no coverage outside the network. Um, only for emergencies, except if you're, if you're, again, that CVS Health Hub and Minute Clinic Benefit, which is accessible across the country. Our Houston network includes <clears throat> HCA. So the Houston service area is actually Montgomery, Harris, Fort Bend, Brazoria, and Galveston. The network covers 22 hospitals throughout the Houston area. They include HCA Houston, Chai St. Luke's Health, and Baylor College of Medicine Medical Center. Also included are Common Spirit and Kelsey Seabold. And for Kelsey Seabold, they have their own telemedicine um, information services for members. So we've also got 370 PCPs and more than 5,100 specialists. Houston also has 20 CVS Minute Clinics and um, 29 Health Hub locations. And you're going to see in Texas that most of the Minute Clinic and Health Clubs are located in Houston and San Antonio. San Antonio has got the added convenience of those 10 CVS Health Hub and Minute Clinic locations. They've got 890 PCP physicians, 4,500 specialists. The service area itself will include Bexar, Comal, Kendall, and Guadalupe counties. Um, covers eight hospitals throughout the San Antonio area. All hospitals are part of the HCS, HCA Methodist Hospital System. In the Austin service area, we've got Travis, Williamson, and Hayes counties. The network covers seven hospitals throughout the Austin area. All hospitals are part of the HCA St. David's hospital system. There's 570 PCPs and more than 3,500 specialists included. El Paso, we've got over 250 PCPs and 1,900 specialists. And the network includes El Paso County. And the two hospitals um, throughout El Paso include HCA Del Sol, and Las Palmas Del Sol Healthcare. So I'm gonna go over our medical plan offerings. So just so you know, aside from whether it's a gated plan that requires PCP referrals and, or if it's an open access plan, which we have in some of our other states, um, our medical plan offerings are very similar. So I'm just gonna give you a highlight of the plan offerings themselves, you know, the basic benefits highlight some of the benefits that we've got. Um, I'm not gonna go over each state because again, the medical plan offerings are basically mirrored in, in each of our states. It's whether it's a gated plan or an open access plan that's differential plus the network. So these are our gold and bronze plans. So we are gonna offer, so I, I'm just, just as an overall, this is what our plans include before we go into the gold and bronze. So with these plans, members are gonna have access to our high quality network of healthcare providers, as well as telemedicine services. So they can have telemedicine services through Teladoc or they can access them through the, through the Minute Clinics as well. So a key focus of these plans is to really simplify the healthcare experience by giving members access to the care they need anywhere by including unique and convenient healthcare offerings at Minute Clinic, Health Hub and CVS pharmacy locations across the country. So in all of these states, um, not just the three I'm talking about today from a network perspective, we offer on and off exchange plans. Each market will have one standard gold plan, two standard silver plans, one standard bronze plan, and an expanded bronze plan, which is our HSA compatible plan. For all of our plans, the de plan deductible and maximum out-of-pockets will be integrated between the medical and pharmacy. 
and unless otherwise noted, deductibles will apply to all covered services. The plan deductibles and maximum out-of-pocket amounts will be embedded. And what that means is that one person will pay no more than the individual deductible amount on the plan. All plans include our no-cost, low-cost minute clinic benefit with zero member cost share for our non-QDHP plans, as well as access to telemedicine services throughout our telemedicine vendor teledoc. So like if you look at, say, North Carolina market, right, you might have a carrier that, you know, is, is a li little bit cheaper than us, but then no one has that zero minute clinic benefit. So you go to North Carolina, you're still going to, you know, you might be getting a cheaper rate, but you're still going to have to pay to access services. So we feel we're a differentiator offering this low cost, no cost minute clinic benefit. So we talked specifically about the gold and bronze plans. Um, <clears throat> again, we're gonna start with the minute clinic. So for our bronze plans, the low cost, no cost minute clinic benefit is zero with deductible waived. So anytime you see DW, that means deductible waived on the plan grids. And anytime you see AD, that means after deductible. The, the additional benefits on the bronze plan are subject to the deductible with a maximum out-of-pocket of $8,700. And then our expanded bronze plans also include that same minute clinic access, but again, the um, benefits are subject to a deductible. So the gold plan also includes the zero benefit for minute clinic. And then we are using copay structure for our most frequently used services like PCPs, specialists, and urgent care. And then we just want to, um, we talked about mental health counseling. So that outpatient mental health substance abuse benefit, it follows the lower cost PCP cost share, not the specialist cost share on our plans. And again, you're going to be able to find these plan grids out on Producer World early next week. So for our silver plans, um, we've got... <clears throat> We know that most members that are purchasing silver will be eligible for the cost share reduction plans. So those in plans include some great benefits for members as well, especially at the 94% and 87% levels. Again, these plans also have nationwide access to CVS Minute Clinics with a $0 copay. And those same benefits apply to the virtual care that you can get at CVS Minute Clinics. So for the more frequently used services like PCP, specialist urgent care, they have co-pays for the cost sharing reduction 87 and 94 plans. Members on our silver plan 194 will have a PCP benefit of zero and a specialist benefit of $5, an urgent care benefit of $10. If we look at um, members on the silver plan 294, they'll have a PCP benefit of $5, specialist benefit of $10 and an urgent care benefit of $10. Included in our plans is something new that Aetna is providing this year. Um, we've got an acupuncture benefit um, up to 10 plans per year, and that follows the PCP cost share. And again, we're going to have um, virtual care included in all of our plans with our vendor Teladoc, as well as through the minute clinics. So because we feel that the minute clinic services are such a differentiating benefit, I'd just like to give you a little bit more information on what kind of services members can access. So we, the reason why we have this, this offering in our plans is that we really feel like the minute clinics remove access issues for members. So that barrier to care, especially those members who may be located in a more rural area. Um, it helps members make the most of their benefits at no cost or low cost to them. So they can get um, services such as getting immunizations at minute clinics. They can get their blood pressure screening and management. They can also have care for minor illnesses and injuries, and they can also have preventive care and wellness done at the CVS minute clinics. Again, all through zero cost to them. And then effective 1122, when these plans come into play, they're going to have access to e-clinic visits and video visits for minute clinics as well. So if you're, you're homesick and you don't want to drive to a minute clinic, you can do an e-clinic or video visit, just like we do with Teladoc on the minute clinics. 
So I'm going to go over the pharmacy benefit. And again, I'm going to go over these. Each of our <clears throat> different markets that we're in have different pharmacy benefits. So I have put on this screen all the different components of our pharmacy plans. So I'll, I'll let you know. So for um, there's two different types of networks uh, that we have. We have our, our national network which is 66,000 pharmacies, and it includes all the major um, national and significant regional chains. So that um, national network is in Florida and Georgia. The rest of our markets um, have the managed network, and it's very similar. It has 51,000 networks, but it excludes those national chains like Walgreens, Rite Aid, and a, and a couple of regional change. So you'll see that's the difference between our plans. Some of them have access to our national network. Some of them have access to our managed network. All of our um, plans have forced to specialty. And just what that means is that when members have a specialty medication, they're gonna be required to fill their specialty medications at an in-network specialty pharmacy. The difference with some of our plans is that some of our plans have no courtesy fills, they have on first fill or after first fill. So you'll see that on the plan grids when you, when you pull them. But again, we do make all members fill their specialty medications at an in-network 